Oh my god, they're stoned. Oh shit. <laughs> Doubloons. Don't drop them. That's weird. Look at this. Kids <laughs> are gonna have no clue what that means. So we brought you in today because recently we had your kids react to some adult jokes that were in some kid TV shows. Oh, <laughs> this will be interesting. We thought it would be fun to show you the reactions and see what you think of these jokes included in kids' cartoons. Okay. I'm hoping most of them went over his head. Julia's such an old soul. Everybody tells us that. And so she always catches adult jokes. Always. We try to pay attention as much as we can. Not all the time, but as much as we can. Okay, you ready to get into this? <laughs> let's, see, let's see what we got. And I had those frames up for the firemen even no flashes. trucks. That's fast. <sighs> Fastest man alive. Which might explain why you can't get a date. Yeah. <laughs> Which might explain why you can't get a date. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? Quiet. <laughs> yeah, I have a clue. Why do you think it's difficult for him to get a girlfriend because he's so fast? Too fast. Goes too fast inside the relationship. Oh, hi, I met you. Do you want to go marry me? <laughs> Basically is what I'm interpreting. I'm glad she didn't get that <laughs> that joke because that was really, uh, yeah, not appropriate. <laughs> Maybe because they don't really like like how they're very fast. They're just like, no, nah, I don't care. I can never catch up. I was just saying, mm, I can't catch up, so looks like I'm going to ignore. She's very literal. She, yeah, everything's very literal for her, so... Uh, that's funny. If I had a boyfriend that would be super fast, it would be fine because he likes to save people. He would like run with her, with me and like his hands, we, and then we, we could go home. <laughs> I love her. I mean, that's a good fast. What do you think this joke means? Uh, it sounds like a sexual joke to me. I mean, he's a one minute, one hitter quitter. He's a five minute man, you know. That's what I think they were trying to say, but I knew kids, it's gonna be way over kids' heads. A lot of the jokes, they're able to kind of play it off to where it has kind of two different meanings. They didn't put anything in there that's vulgar or anything. It's just a little slight innuendo that can mean something else. Number one sister, Dust for Prince. Oh, I love this one. Oh, it's a show. Animaniacs. Oh, these guys were classics in these in these little adult oh, joke slip-ins. I found Prince! <laughs> the kids are not gonna know who Prince no, no, is. No. They're gonna like, what? No, 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 fingerprints. <laughs> no, 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 fingerprints. Oh my God. Did she understand this one? <laughs> she actually got Prince. That's, that's beautiful. I know I remember his face from some show. Aladdin? Did that, is that where you got, I don't know. So he thinks that it was like the Prince from Aladdin. Oh yeah, yeah, it's way over his head. If it ain't in their, in their age bracket, then they're like, what? The guy was singing and he said fingerprints, but the girl thought he said prince. So he, she went and got a prince, but then she threw the prince out of the window. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he got it. He wanted to be cool about it. Thank God there are d jokes like that in, because no parent would sit in the room long enough to watch half of this stuff. 25, 20. SpongeBob! Oh, SpongeBob. Oh, Everybody SpongeBob. knows. Even I I've know SpongeBob. I've heard that there's a lot of jokes that adults understand in SpongeBob, and I sometimes even understand them, too. 25. Yeah, she does. 27. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a fan of Spongebob. The treasure must be... She's actually not even allowed to watch Spongebob. Wow. <laughs> Why, no, Gary, this isn't the bathtub. The shower head is right there. <laughs> Look, the balloons. So... Don't drop them. <laughs> the balloons. Don't drop them. That's weird. Look at this. <laughs> I just got it. I just got to say. The kids are going to have no clue what that means. This is going to be way over there. I don't think many kids would know what not to drop the soap is. <laughs> I can see how parents can relate to this. It's kind of hard to get them into the tub because they don't want to. They just want to keep playing or doing what they were doing before. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Wow, that's really an interesting comedy. <laughs> I've never even really let her watch SpongeBob that much. A lot of the writing, I feel like it is more for teens and not like little kids. They love SpongeBob, absolutely. But uh, I don't explain anything. And if they ask questions, I pretend, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy, honey. I'm, I'm doing the dishes. Hey, look, Mr. Krabs. I love the show. Kitty ride. 
Why don't you try it out? I can't find the coin slot. Here it is. Oh. They know what happened? Here it is. <laughs> Maybe I need to start watching SpongeBob. <laughs> He found um his one of his fins on one of the seahorses' fins. Oh my god, that's so cute! Thank then, goodness. And had a coin, and then, and then. I thought he actually got it by his reaction, but he didn't get it. <laughs> Just put it in his ass. <laughs> Look, you don't have a clue. I'm really curious where he actually put the coin. <laughs> She's did curious. He put it in the gills? <laughs> did he put it in the gills? No. Do seahorses even have gills? <laughs> I think the joke was, oh, I can't find the coin slot. And he put it in whatever he has. Whatever he has, that's <laughs> that works. I understand it, but it's disgusting. <laughs> Pretty sure he put him in the back hole. Yeah, the back I'm hole. not going to say the word because that's disgusting. She's disturbed. <laughs> the seahorse got a little angry for putting it in his butthole, <laughs> so he decided that he would he would kick him, and he exploded. There you go. So a little bit older, knew exactly what area. Wow, who would have thought that SpongeBob was a really nasty little spongy? Gary! <laughs> 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 I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Gary! <laughs> uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. What? It was just... It was dancing. <laughs> I love her. What's wrong with Gary seeing it? That was weird. Why did he get scared of <laughs> Gary seeing that? He was scared if Gary liked anyone. He was just say right there and just... He didn't care about football. <laughs> But he liked that show more. My mom will like put pause and she's like, all right, Jules, make this quick. I'm watching something you shouldn't be seeing. So that's probably like <laughs> that's what, what they're do. referring to whenever they're doing that. In this situation, they'll just barge in and you wouldn't be expecting it. And you're like watching something like, what? <laughs> See, older and she got it. He watches something he wasn't supposed to be watching. <laughs> more for me, it's like the, it's like the, mystery murder shows and stuff that I'm like, okay, yeah, she shouldn't know about this. So like, I'll put it on pause. I'm like, come on, make it snappy. Parents are the ones with the twisted minds, so they would get it. And so <laughs> the kids, I don't think, my kid for sure would not think anything. Down. The amazing world of gumball. I never don't know who these guys are. Oh my God, I love this show. Okay, I do watch this cartoon. Margaret and I used to argue like that. Sometimes up to six times a day. From first thing in the morning until last thing at night. In the kitchen. In the backyard. It must be a very rude couple. Occasionally, we'd <laughs> do it in public. <laughs> Once, even while we were sleeping. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of different situations. I know parents fight sometimes because, oh my goodness. you know. Thank goodness they're like perfect. focused in Six on the fighting. Times. That's bad. A little too much. Maybe like one time a day is fine. <laughs> like it should be a good memory, but it's like I used to fight with her. It's a love-hate relationship basically, I think. They didn't get that either, which is great. Six times a day, I mean. They're not arguing at all. And most kids don't associate things in a sexual manner anyway. So yeah, the sexual in innuendos, I think they can get away with really easy. It sounds super innocent, but it's like it has another meaning behind it. So I'm surprised you didn't get that. Can you think of any better way to spend our lives? Dude, I can't even think. Is my heart still beating? I think they're sick. <laughs> oh my god, they're stoned. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he almost died. What happens when you become a couch potato and you and you accidentally super glued your butt to the couch? <laughs> Did she really say that? They're probably stoned out of their minds and stuff. And they're munching. You gotta watch what your kids is watching out here because there's some crazy stuff on TV. If a kid is actually getting what is happening, that is one smart kid. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Gravity Falls. She loves this show. Gravity Falls. I thought this stuff was banned in America.
Your sister seems to be going nuts for that smile dip. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe I've had too much. What do you think? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's, geez, she's seeing things now. <laughs> she's hallucinating. Would you like to eat my candy paws? Of course, little <laughs> okay, angel. Okay, I get this one. <laughs> Mabel, I need your advice. We're hanging out in a haunted convenience. Oh, she can't get a hold of Grunkle. She's just gonna be creepy. Say anything about it to any of these guys, they'll just think I'm a scared little kid or something. <laughs> it's in the past. I mean, this is actually She's a cartoon. She's on the sugar rush. <laughs> She's on the sugar rush. Definitely. That's exactly what I would tell Janelle. You see what happens when you eat too much sugar? Mabel, how many of these did you eat? Eleventeen. <laughs> she can't even say stuff anymore. Sugar makes you like, yeah, and then. <laughs> That's right. Good job, Bowie. I don't even have words for that. Is it supposed to relate to drugs or something? I don't know anymore. <laughs> She's not right to drugs. <laughs> That's interesting that she actually went there. Well, she knows a little bit more than I know then. I'm sure sugar does have that like crazy effect on them because Sometimes I do feel like that does that to my kid. We're living in the time and age where kids know more than we think that they, you know, they, they don't know, and sometimes it does shock us. When you were growing up, do you remember if cartoons included adult-directed humor as well? I don't think they did. And the reason being is because our, our parents didn't watch them with us. I don't remember having a lot of adult humor in those, like, Care Bear. Care Bear taught us some attitude. I got a, a butt whooping watching The Simpsons because my mom was religious, so I had to sneak and watch it <laughs> so I could t so I could talk about it in school like all the other kids were talking about it. I did not notice it when I was a kid, but I definitely notice it now. Jordan's sitting there like, Daddy, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I was like, it's just funny. Well, why is it funny? Explain it to me. I'm like, I can't. Now as an adult, I will catch them and I'm like, oh my God, like I did not catch that as a kid. It's funny to see how your mind changes and how, you know, you when you grow up, you you understand things differently. Finally, after watching some of these clips and kids' reactions, do you think the writers and creators of these jokes should take the adult humor out of cartoons meant for kids, or are they just harmless jokes? They're harmless. And the kids have no idea, so it makes it even, you know, inside joke with whoever's watching it. Us parents need something. When we are watching your cartoon, we need something. You know, give the parents a little comedy to kind of go, wow, wow. They put it in there where they know a kid's not gonna get it but the parent will get it. Obviously they want to engage the adults as well. So they got to throw in one or two of those adult jokes and then you engage yourself back into the cartoon with your kid. If they're smart enough to catch the joke or question it, then I'll explain it in my, my own way. But kids are going to hear this stuff eventually, whether it's on TV or not. Um, and parents can control what their kids watch and what they don't. There's a lot that don't do it at all. And I find the cartoons are very dry and it's hard to like watch them with your kids. So the ones that have that little added adult humor in, I feel like it's these special little treasures for us. Thanks for watching this episode of Parents React. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching, bye. Hi guys, Jose Carlos here, producer at FB. Make sure to check out all our other episodes across all generations. All the links are gonna be down below. Thanks guys, bye.